artist offered prayers at Tirupati Venkatachalapathi temple in Andhra Pradesh. The scientist said, and I quote, This is Chandrayaan 3, our mission to the moon. We have a launch tomorrow. The countdown for Chandrayaan 3 mission starts from today at 1 p.m. So now remember Indian Space Research Organization, that is ISRO, is all set to launch its third lunar exploration mission Chandrayaan 3 tomorrow. And uh, uh, this will be launched from Sri Harikota, making India the fourth country to land its spacecraft on the surface of the moon and demonstrate the country's abilities for safe and soft landing on lunar surface. But ahead of the launch, uh, a team of ISRO scientists offered prayers at uh, Tirupati Venkatachalapathi temple in Andhra Pradesh and they said that this is Chand Chandrayaan 3, our mission to the moon. And the uh, countdown will also start from today at 1 p.m. CNN News 18 Swastika is joining us on this story to give us more details. Swastika, very good morning to you. Could you tell us more about the Chandrayaan 3 mission? Well, that's right. It's going to take off tomorrow and... Uh, uh, India has been waiting for bated breath, in fact, uh, as it gears up for the launch of Chandrayaan 3. And ahead of that, uh, we saw the core team of scientists visit the Tirupati Temple as a gesture, uh, as a prayer. And because, remember, there's a lot of sentiments also associated with this uh, mission because Chandrayaan 2, contrary to the high expectations that everybody had, uh, caused a billion heartbreaks when it could not really uh, manage to meet the exact motive and that is the reason why the ISRO team this time around even though they're very much confident with Chandrayaan 3 have to take that extra leap of faith which is why uh, visiting the Tirupati temple as has been the norm every time we saw uh, former ISRO science uh, chief uh, K. Sivan also do similar gestures and now the core team of ISRO paying a visit to the Tirupati temple uh, uh, as, as, as a tribute and also every little prayer is important ahead of the big launch tomorrow. Right, Swastika, as you mentioned that the Chandrayaan 2 mission uh, fa had failed, but what are the changes that have been made uh, to Chandrayaan 3? Well, to break it down in simple terms, uh, the rover this time around, uh, the, it, India is going to perform a historic feat, will be the first country to land at the lunar south pole. That is something that we also attempted with Chandrayaan 2. Uh, Chandrayaan 2... Uh, was not a failed mission. It did manage to send some signals back, but ultimately the data analyzed through that has only uh, helped the scientists this time around to fix uh, the recurring signals. The fact that the rover will carry out all the details and a limited survey of the patch of the moon to understand uh, various factors, including water, soil condition, uh, all of that will be sent back to India. So in terms of the uh, overall structure and the mission as such, this, this time around, they have learned from all the experiences that they've gathered from Sandrayan 2, and which is why this time, the right from the vehicle that will be uh, taking the rover and the lander to the moon, everything is so says has been done to perfection. All right, Swastika, thank you so much for giving us all those details. We have some